All right, man, let's talk about Monty Williams saying that uh, Marcus Sasser. Uh, I need to clean my boots off. They all muddy. Marcus Sasser and Killian Hayes are better compliments for Kay Cunningham than Jay Nivey. All right, he said it. So at the end of the day, Killian proved him right in the New York Nick game, but we already know them games are few, far in between. Also, we already spoke on how Jay Nivey was not made aware. How does that mud on my shoes? Jesus Christ. I'll knock this mud off when I get home. But he was not made aware that he was going to be coming off the bench. And like I said before, you know, when you got a successful platoon, successful team, successful organization, communication is the key. You know, and it just seemed like some, man, <laughs> if I want to say what I really wanted to say, I would say it, but I don't think I, I got the audience on this channel to say it. It's just, um, it's just not a good run business right now. It's pretty much, man, being ran. I'm just be quiet. It ain't being run right. How about that? Okay, and uh, you know and that is what it is, man. But I mean, clearly it's starting to come off that Monty Williams don't like Jay Nivey, and some people you just don't like. You know, and I'm I'm the type of person like somebody say, well, don't mess with dog. You know, even my homie. Okay, that's your enemy. That's your enemy. But you know. And you my man, so a hey, real talk. I ain't gonna mess with dog. That's how I get down. That's that's supposed to be man law. Like, you know what I'm saying? But somebody said, oh, just don't mess with him, you know, or mess with her. I gotta find out for myself. Because you can't always take people uh at they at they at they face value work. So I always don't really let a reputation pretty much always determine, you know, a person you got to show you gotta show me you shady or you gotta, you know, show that. And at the end of the day, some people you just don't click with, you don't rock with, I think. And like I said in the Ivy and Monty, Monty Williams video about him not telling him he going to the bench, I just think you get a sneak peek on why him and DeAndre Aiden ain't really click, you know? And at the end of the day, if he feel like, you know, Ivy don't need to be here, then they get rid of him. You know, we didn't seen far worse, them get rid of far worse, far better players, you know? And hang on the five worst player. For some reason, the Pistons have an affection with bum ass players. And it wasn't no other way for me to put it from Kyle Singler to Luke Kennard uh, to holding on to Killian Hayes to holding on to Andre Drummond. For, if Andre Drummond wasn't paid by the Pistons, dude, he would have been what he is in Chicago a long time ago. And this ain't no knock. I don't. People say, why you don't like Stewart? Or why you don't like. It ain't that I don't like these dudes personally. I'm pretty sure they swell people. But I just see they, they ain't the positions they put in Detroit, you're not going to be successful with them. And, and, and a lot of times it's common sense, and a lot of y'all have a lot of optimism because y'all are fans. I kind of look at it from a realist point of view. And sometimes I look at things from an optimist, opti optimistic standpoint of view uh, with, with the hometown team and with sports. And I'll let you know, like, okay, man, I'm going my heart on this. You know, I tell y'all, I give y'all a heads up. You know, sometimes you go with your gut feeling. But, you know, if he feel like Killian a, a, a better fit, so be it, bro. Like, I'm, I'm just, right now, I don't want to be over-emotional about what Monty Williams doing. Give it an opportunity to work. But it's hard when you don't win in November. And what's so funny about it, two years ago, they said he went, uh, he went, he went, he went, uh, without a loss in November with the Phoenix Suns. So, and it's hard to get over that the man didn't want to take the job and he wanted the job. He only took the job because of the money. The money got too good. It's like Tom Gore said, he go this money, he go this extension money to Troy Reaver. Y'all go figure it out. Leave me the hell up out of me. Y'all go figure it out, okay? And it's a straight shit show. You know? So, it is what it is. If he feel that way, I'm going to trust his basketball, but basketball mind. But you keep that. I mean, whatever reason it is, coaches love killing our hands. I don't see it. He's a great defender. I'm looking like, what's the difference between giving up 118 and 133? Shit, you still getting popped. The only reason you didn't lose by more than 118, you didn't lose by more because Kate Cunningham went off. Killian hit some shots. He can, they want to ride and pay Killian. I don't care no more. You know, they want to keep putting him in him and Isaiah's store. I don't care no more, dude. Like, don't care no more. Don't care. 
I don't care no more. They want to just, they just, they see something, okay, they got it. He had better compliment for Kay Cunningham. Fuck it, they got it. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm tired of repeating myself. The obvious is the obvious, bro. Well, Sasser, yeah, I like Sasser a lot too. He's saying they both defend, they both defend, and they better shot, they make better shots than Jay Ivey. He got it. Move on from the kid. Why make the kid suffer? Why torture the kid on, on the team? Trade his ass. Trade him. And I'm going to still be rooting for Jay Knight. I'm a, I root for Ivy before I root for the Pistons right now. Go ahead. And everything is about K, 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 K. And I'm fine with that. But if you're going to build a team around him, he better be that guy. He better be that transcendent talent that y'all say, well, if we had him last year, this wouldn't have happened. You know what I'm saying? So it better, it better, they be, they better be about something. Trade them. Why sit there and torture the kid, bro? You don't tell him nothing. You don't say nothing to him. And, and at the end of the day, this will kill confidence. You wouldn't think a brother would do another brother like that. You know? I want to know where it went left at. Keep it real. Where did it go left at? He say something to you? Try to date your daughter? I don't know. A lot, a lot of people be holding the grudges over the smallest thing. He didn't hold the door open for me. Well, I don't like the way he laughed. Oh, man, I, I mean, I'll be listening to people, but people don't like people. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? But you want to say Sasser is a better option than Jay and Ivy? Cool. I ain't even mad at it. But Killian Hayes, this love and affection... I need love and affection. My future voice, for I, I, I would never understand unless he starts showing something. Never, bro. Um, if they felt that way, and I know Monty wasn't here, and they keep giving him chances. Why you draft Jay Ivey then? Why would you draft Kill? Why would you draft K Cunningham if you felt that Killian Hayes was a point guard? You should have took Jalen Green. You took a took Jalen Green, Evan Mobley. Why would you keep taking point guards on top of point guards? It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Tell me I'm wrong. It don't make no sense. And I ain't, I look here, he said he a better fit. I'm not going to sit here and dispute it. I don't really care at this point. And if he the better, they the better fit, then win some damn basketball games, buddy. Because it's always going to be hung over your head and you losing like this and your questionable roster moves and questionable basketball moves. It's always going to be questioned because you're losing and you took the job because of the generosity. That's always going to be thrown in your face when you losing like this. And this is why a lot of people wanted them to go with Jerry Stackhouse or a younger coach. I guarantee you they wouldn't have been losing this many games. Guarantee you. Troy Weaver hanging on to Isaiah Stewart, Killian Hayes, but moving on from Sadiq Bay. I don't understand. I literally don't. And it's always somebody out there that's going to defend Killian Hayes, that's going to defend Isaiah Stewart, and them the same ones that sit there and talk shit about a K cutting him. Guarantee you, well, you know, K didn't that good, but you sit here and defend them bums. Yeah, I said it. Neither one of them is shit. You ain't shit. And I said, and I said proudly. What are you going to do? Whoop my ass? Go on ahead. Ain't going to change the fact that you ain't shit. <laughs> you ain't gonna change the fact that you ain't shit. So that's all I be saying, bro. It's all your boy be saying, man. It's like I said before, I, I don't truly understand it. I don't truly understand it, man. But you know, but if they the better fits, trade Ivy, bury them on the bench, trade them, do what you gonna do, and let's see some dividends keep coming in. But them holding on to Killian Hayes, bro, I don't know what he got over the organization, what pictures he got, 
what lawsuit he holding, you know, uh, what you call it, uh, 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 what extortion he holding over the Pistons head. Like, I've never felt like this about the Detroit Pistons. Never. I literally hate y'all motherfuckers right now. I really do. I literally hate this team right now from top to bottom. Y'all y'all don't even, y'all need to relocate. Honestly, how I feel. Y'all need to relocate, man. Y'all is a disappointment. Y'all should be playing that four field. And when the Lions is going on 16, y'all are an embarrassment. Y'all don't even deserve to wear Detroit on y'all chest. Y'all should have blank jerseys out there with numbers on there. All white, all black jerseys don't have none of the colors that's on the horse, that's on the ball, that's on nothing. Nothing that should be associated. Y'all shouldn't even wear the color that's Joe Fist, Joe Lewis Fist downtown. Matter of fact, y'all should go make them motherfuckers playing Nova or Nova Scotia or something like that. Yeah, Milford. With Saginaw, go make them the Grand Rapid Pistons till they get to left. Bring the drive here, whatever they call the G League team. When they already here, we yeah, bring you know, bring let them play for the Pistons. I bet they get a win before these bums do. But hey, it is what it is. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop video. Financially want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. You can find me everywhere on Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Peace.